So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use one of the new decision tools that is now available in order to first design a new product to reach a target segment and second to check your price and work out what your ideal price might be. So first thing we need to do is click on semantic scales because this new tool uses the semantic scales. So I'll assume that you've made a decision about what segment you want to target. So let's say that the segment that we'd like to target is shoppers. So as you can see, their ideal features are 1.9, design 5, battery 2.9, and so on. Write all those numbers down. We're going to use those in a second. Now, the other thing you might also want to do, we're going to do two things at once, is look at how to reposition a brand according to price. So if we look at tone up here, Currently, Tone's price is at 6.3 on the semantic map. So let's just take a quick look at the map. So 6.3 is higher than the high earners would like to pay, and it's higher than the professionals would like to pay. So if we're targeting the professionals with Tone, maybe we want to know exactly what price they would really like. So it looks like it's around 5.5, but let's just quickly double check where the professionals are in terms of price. And as you can see, it's 5.6, so it's pretty close. So write that down as well. Tone equals 5.6. So we're going to use both of those sets of numbers to use our new tool. So close that window and click on the Tools tab. Now here you can see something that we haven't used before, which is the regression-based tools semantic. So I simply click on that. Now, this is a really useful tool to take some of the guesswork out of designing a research and development. So in this case, our first thing that we wanted to do was make a new product, new brand to target the shoppers. So click on create a new brand to target the desired position on the map. So click next. So we wrote down our numbers, um, which were 1.9 for features. 5 for design, 2.9, 4.3, 6.2, and 3.2. Now all we do is click Calculate. And now you can see features 7, design 8, etc. And our price would need to be 281. And that, in theory, should hit the shoppers exactly where they are on the semantic map in the current period. Now remember, the segments do evolve over time, so they won't stay at the exact point that you looked at then. So you should really try and aim to be aiming for where they are going to be, not where they are now. So write those numbers down because those are going to be exactly what you put into the research and development tab when you create your new product. Now we've done that before, so I'm not going to go back and do that. What I want to do though is remember we, we're going to try and modify the price of tone in order to better focus on the professionals. So we're going to want to click on Modify a Brand to target a desired position on the brand maps. So Tone was the first one that came up. You can see that you can choose any of the brands on the market, which is nice to know. But we're going to do Tone. Now you can see the price is set at 535. So we simply change that to 5.6, leave everything else the same, and then click Calculate. So you can see our price is $80 more than they would prefer to pay. Now, based on competitive actions, you may still be able to charge a higher price. I'm not suggesting that you absolutely need to change your price in this situation to $455. But if you're aiming to get right exactly where the professionals are on that semantic map, this is how you would work it out. So in this case, it suggests that your price should be around $455. So all you would need to do is change price to $455 and you would reach that point on the semantic map. So that's our semantic tools introduction. You can use that to work out what competitors might be doing. As you can see here, you can see practice modifying competitor brands. You can use your own brands. And in general, it takes a little bit of the guesswork out so that you can focus on your actual strategy as opposed to how to use the simulation itself. 